my channel. My name is Tracy. Today's video I want to show you how I have repaired my faceplate panel for this welding machine. It was no longer available and I had to outsource finding it from another manufacturer. Any panel can be made by this company for your automobile or tractor or piece of equipment that you're using. It helps to be able to see where the on and off switch is at and the controls. Any of the selector knobs. Definitely want to make sure that it is loose enough so that it does not damage any parts behind the panel. Okay, at this point, I've had to take the hood off and the side panel to recover whatever hardware there is on the back side of the panel. And it is good to check things anyways. Now the process is to take off the entire pieces left over and get ready to install a new one. This is what the new one looks like. It's nice. It's aluminum on the back. And then it's got a sticker that they put on the aluminum. The name of the company that made this is welderplates.com. They've been certified by three different electric welding machine companies their phone number is right there if you need anything made whether it's a tractor or an automobile or a piece of equipment that needs a new panel I'm sure they can make it if the manufacturer no longer makes it in my case that's what it was I can't wait to put it on Okay, it's almost there. Okay, it's in. Oops, don't want to lose the button taps. Little tabs. Anti seize on the set screws for the selector knobs will, is what I'm trying to say. To put some anti seize in this while they are still free. I may need to someday work on it again. So it's always good to take care of that. Thank you everyone for watching this episode. Bye.